Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can do server-side re-entering uh, with React uh, using a package called next.js. So I already have it. So what you want to do is you want to install and uh, next and react and react DOM, which I've already done. The next thing you have to do is so that you can run the development server and uh, do a build you need to copy the scripts uh, section. So I'm going to do that uh, right uh, for you right now here. So you can see uh, what it looks like. So once I have that, uh, I should be all set and I can just run npm run dev and let's see uh, what it does. Uh, so this is going to do essentially what uh, you could do with any server side um, programming language such as PHP or using Express or anything like that or even using MVC in uh, .NET. So if you do that, uh, uh, the server should be running locally at localhost 3000. And if I point to that, you should be able to see an index page. So here you can see it is printing in index and let me uh, make sure I have my console working here. So, uh, so the thing to watch is, uh, let's say how, how do we get that uh, when we do this. So for server side rendering, it's pretty easy. If you look at the documentation, uh, it assumes by convention that you can uh, uh, add the pages you want to do server side rendering under a folder called pages, and you can create your pages uh, that way. And when you create a page, if you name it index.js, so if you go to the main area, it will be what is it? What would be shown? So here in index.js, basically I created a default component called hello, and as you would recognize it, it's just returning a div and it's saying in index. So that's all working and good. So here you can see this is all working perfectly. So if you wanted to add some more components such as a link. Uh, let me show you how to do that as well. So for the link, what you can do is uh, you can import link from next link, uh, which is what I'm going to do so that we can link to some other page, for example. Uh, so that is good. And to link to something else, you basically have something called a link component, which we imported. So I'm going to copy that. And let's say within this div, we want to be able to do this. So let me just do a break here and then add this here so let me uh, format this document so it looks uh, reasonably good so basically we have a link component which says uh, this is just an html uh, href uh, which you can put on a link but within that you need to put in a real anchor tab or button or anything like that so here i'm just saying we want to go to about so let me just change it to uh, go to a component called about so basically if we click on slash about it's going to try to go to an about page so as you learn to create the pages what you want to do is just create a new file here under pages and i'm going to call it about.js and to uh, make this i'll just make a component uh, right here and i will name it about and the thing is that from about we also want to go to a link to maybe go to the index page so I will just say go to index page, for example, here. So if we just have that, uh, let's see what uh, what we see. So in index, it's saying we can go to about. So if you go to about, it's you can see that it went to about and it says you can, uh, it is in uh, go to index page and you can click on that and go back and forth. So to just to make it easy enough to see here, we went in about, uh, I'm going to change this to in about so we know we are in about and in index it is going to be in index so as you can see that pretty much uh, works and it's pretty easy to create this server side render pages and you can see this uh, link component is very handy so one other thing i wanted to show you that is kind of useful with this is uh, a, a static function that can be executed when you visit that particular page and it is called get initial props so I'm going to uh, add that here, some code from the documentation. Uh, but basically, if you look at it, uh, let me just add a console.log here as well. So you can see uh, what it does. 
So uh, get initial prompt is uh, executed uh, when the page is going to be visited and, and we have a request. You can see what request came in. And from the request, we basically are trying to find if request is non uh, request dot headers dictionary, we look for a user's agent. Otherwise, we will just set it to navigator dot user agent and we're returning a user agent. So what we can uh, show in this uh, index page uh, where we have an index and we can maybe show this property because this uh, becomes a property uh, get initial props will essentially create a property for us called user agent so so as the name suggests this function can be used to create initial properties so if you look at just this uh, let's see what it does if we visit this page uh, let's watch the console here as well so here you can see in the console it didn't really uh, render or print the request information but here you can see in index it has got that property user agent and it's in fact what I had sent in the request in a network request if you look at the uh, index.js here the request that is being sent and if you look at the headers uh, request headers you can see the user agent is this so you can see that uh, get initial props will get me that information. And if you look at our console here, as far in the, uh, this is actually the, on the server side terminal. So you can see it is printing the request header with lots and lots of information. So you can in fact see that this component is actually being uh, rendered on the server side and HTML is created and that gets sent to the uh, client. So to recap, basically what I've shown you is from index and about, you can create regular looking uh, React components. And to make it easy, you can add them as pages. So when you add, go to index, uh, it will be the top level, then about would be slash about. And to refer to uh, going to various links, you can do something like this, links, components, and a special property that you can add to your component, uh, which are server side rendered, you can create a static async function called get initial props and from that you can create properties for your components such as I created here called user engine so it's basically returning the properties initial properties and that's what I could access on over here so hopefully uh, you have enjoyed this and you can explore this more by visiting the documentation and learning more about react and server side rendering and I'll add this video on my website under react server side render with next.js Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.